Okay, today we are going to be solving equations. I should say solving one step equations. One step equations. How many steps is it going to take to solve them? One. Good, one step. Excellent. Hope not. All right, so x plus 5 equals 12. Now, in sixth grade, you learn how to do this using mental math, okay? I'm going to teach you today how to do it showing work. And the reason I'm going to have you show work is because when we get to problems like this one that's written on the board, you need to know how to show work. So when they get complicated, you're like, I can deal with it because I've learned how to do it. When it's nice and simple. All right. First step is we surround the bars. I mean, we surround the equal sign with bars. That's our first step. Can really just focus on this. Now, I'm going to ask you, what's the operation here? Addition. You're always going to do the opposite operation. So what's the opposite of addition? So you're going to subtract. Whatever number is here, you're going to subtract it. So what do I subtract by? Five. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side to keep it balanced. So what happens here? This eliminates. You're left with x equals 12 minus 5. Yes. Yes. Good. I am, I am teaching you basically here how to show work. How what is expected of you in my class in regards to showing work? Now, your whole goal in this is to get x by itself. You see that? Is that x plus 5? I want x by itself. I have it. x equals 7. It's by itself. That's what I want. All right. x plus 8 equals 13. Can you solve this one showing work, please? We're just practicing showing work. Go ahead and do it before I do it. Did you draw the bars? Did you look at the operation and write the opposite at the bottom? What'd you get? X equals 5. Good job. We're good? Good. All right. Should be easy. Now, let's turn it. X minus 12 equals 23. What's your first step? Bars. Good. Now you look at your operation. What operation is this? Subtraction. So what's the opposite? I'm going to add this number, which is 12. I'm going to add it to both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do it to the other side. So x equals... Look at the problem you just wrote here. You wrote 23 plus 12, so that's 35. Good. Yes. So this, the reason you do the opposite is to cancel it out. So basically this cancels out. You're left with x. If you don't do the opposite, you're not canceling it out. Because uh, minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So what we're doing is we're not writing the plus 0. It, it's eliminated. You're done with it. Okay? Try, try doing this one. Try doing that one, the same thing you just did. Try it out. That's how we learn. We try our own. And we hopefully succeed. Did you draw the bars? Yes. Yeah. Did you look at your operation to the opposite? What's the opposite? No, not positive. It's an operation, so it's called a plus sign. Plus 5, plus 5. X equals 37. Yep. Go slow. We're good? Okay. I'll tell you the truth. All of that was supposed to be sixth grade. Okay. Let's do it. Seventh grade.
Do it. Do it. Do we see why it's called the seventh grade problem? Yep. So if it says plus seven, you're going to do minus seven, minus seven. Correct? Right? Then you go, wait a minute. I'm going to write it over here. It is whoa, two minus seven. Makes me kind of sad, right? So two plus negative seven. What's two plus negative seven? Negative five is equal to x. You got to be careful. You do the opposite, right? You do the opposite. All right. Let's try this one. X plus 10 is equal to um, 8. Hold on, hold on. Can everybody, everybody in the class should be able to do this, right? Everybody in the class should be able to go, hey, that's a plus, so I'm going to write a minus. 10 minus 10. Everybody should be able to do that. Everybody. Now, we're dealing with this. And this takes a little bit more effort. What would you guys get? Good. Do you see the work I'm showing? Guess what? I expect that same work on your paper as well. Okay? They're going to get hard and complicated. So you want to get used to showing work on the easy ones. All right. We're good? Try this one. Everybody should have drawn the bar, right? Operation is a plus sign, so what are you going to do? Minus. This is a negative 8. Guess what? It's a negative 8. At least when you carry it over, it's still the same number. Did I change? Did you change any of these numbers? It's a 12, 12, 5, 5, 7, 7, 10, 10, right? The only thing that you change is the operation. So I'm not changing that negative, at least when I carry it over. Got it? So this, all this complicated stuff right there, just eliminate. You're left with x equals. Now here, oh gosh. This is where you take a minute. Not literally a minute. Some of you are like, she told me to take a minute, so I'm just going to go and take a minute. I like to rewrite this like this. So then you see it. You guys see what I have to do now? What I have to do? Keep, change, change. Negative 10. Subtraction turns into addition. What's the opposite of negative 8? 8. Negative 2. Good. No. Don't lie to yourself. Go. Write it down. Let's go. Pencil working. X minus 4 equals negative 12. John, you got an answer? Juan, trying. Let's go. What's negative 12 plus 4? Good. Very good. Oh my goodness, the X is on this side. Oh no. I don't know how to do these problems because the X is on the other side. So, guess what? If the X is on the other side, it's still the same thing. You still draw the bars. Now, 
You want x by itself. So what's the number you have to move? The 7. So opposite of plus is minus 7 minus 7. So x equals 3. It's actually x equals, I mean, 3 equals x, right? You read it, but it's fine. Uh, what I want you to realize here is, even though the x is on this side, you're still going to do the same thing. You still look for the operation. You do the opposite of the operation. So what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. What's the opposite of subtraction? Addition. 